A very good morning to you. Thank you so much for sticking with us right here. This is Y254 TV. It is a pleasure being with you on your number one youth station right here. Y254 is the best place to be each and every morning. Of course, my name is Ram Aguko. This is Y in the morning. We are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also streaming live through our website. And that's www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. It's a pleasure being with you today. And on this fine Tuesday morning, we want to talk about your problems. We want to talk about how best can you solve your problem with your landlord? <laughs> a very good question there. What are some of the solutions that come from the problems that you're having? Solving tenant conflicts is what we want to talk about today. Are you a tenant? Do you have questions concerning your landlord? How are you trying to solve those problems that you're having with your landlords? Are you a landlord? Do you have concerns about your tenants? Are you trying to find a solution towards having an agreement with your tenants? This is the discussion for you as a landlord and for you as a tenant. Plug in, and of course, just as my brother uh, 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 Sako always says, plug in. Tune in and, of course, engage with us on our social media platforms. And that's at Y254 Channel, which is uh, the official handle. My handle is at Ram Aguko. And the hashtag, as always, is Y in the morning. To help us in this discussion, I am with Joaquim Mbui. He is the founder and the chairman of the Landlords and Tenants Association of Kenya. Kabisana, my brother. Thank you. I know it's been a while since we met. Sure. Huh? Pleasure uh, to meet you. How many years? <laughs> it's a long time. <laughs> More than three years, you know. Three? More than three years. Two, two years. Two, two, two years. three? Yeah, two, three I, years. I'm, I'm trying to recall <coughs> the last time we met even at the hotel. Before but, the COVID, I think. But yeah, we it, met the other, time, the other day. We met. <laughs> yeah, 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 but you look, you look out to Ile bumping it into exactly. each other. Exactly. It's a pleasure having you again, my brother. I know it's been a while. Yeah. Uh, how have you been? Very good. Mm. Trying to bring issues maybe... We are trying to compress issues that mm. affect people. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah. majorly we analyzed after pre and post COVID. Mm. This is now the time we realized tenants issues in Kenya is indeed Increased. because now they critical. have to stay at home. Yeah, and now they now they cannot no run away from their landlord. Exactly, there has <laughs> been a conflict. Yeah, yeah, auctioneering are there. People are being locked out of their houses. No money to pay rent. Mm. Landlords, they don't have money to service their loans. Yeah. So it has been a, a very big issue, even today. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's why we're here to talk about this. And I, I invite you from home. Yeah. Do you have questions concerning your landlord? Do you have questions concerning your tenant? Plug in. Talk to us. These are tenant solutions that my brother is going to talk about here. We want to talk about housing solutions and your wellness, even concerning your environment and sanitation. All these things are going to be covered today in this particular conversation. First things first, my brother. Yes. I want <coughs> us to handle it from the beginning. Sure. Because this is where people mess it up. Before I move into a house, or before... I make someone come into my house as a landlord. What are some of the steps that are required to be taken before that permanent or long-term decision as a tenant to move into a house or as a landlord to bring someone into my house? Okay, as uh, a tenant mm -hmm. or as a landlord, yeah. you have to understand procedures. Number one, we have three principles in tenancy. Principle number one, when you want to move into a house, you have to uh, understand what it means, entry. Mm. Entry point is about to analyze the house, the site, how much the rent is paid, understand the lease agreement, know everything before you make a decision to move into that house. Ask, ask as many questions as you can. Yes, you ask not many questions. Mm. Ask everything. If there is a lease, let the landlord stand and tell you, this is my house, I charge this. Service charge is this. Mm -hmm. This is how I operate. 
then mm -hmm. go through that document, that contract document. Mm -hmm. After analyzing everything, you are obligated or you have the right to ask a question or amend where necessary to fit you. That mm -hmm. I like your house, mm -hmm. but the issue of clause number one or two or three in terms of penalties, rent increment, or some issues, you have to raise and say, me, I, I don't fit in that one. I request you to amend. That is in regards to that paper. That, that, the, that's a list. The argument. The, uh, the the argument yes. So you're saying before, all, before any tenant moves into a house, yes, yes. you must demand for the lease. You must demand in all what is involved in that uh, amenities. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What is it that, uh, okay, the, the size of the house, the, the site of the house, regulations of the the house mm -hmm. everything water electricity security you have to assess everything then you sit you go through the lease agreement or mm -hmm. somebody if it's an agent has mm -hmm. to take you through and and, and joking even even as you continue because I know we are talking to so many youths here yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. Some don't have no idea what a lease is. They don't is. understand. They, they don't know what, the, what it yes, is. Yes. So just in, in a layman's term, yes, yes. In, in the most basic way, yes, what yes. is a lease? It's an agreement between a landlord and a tenant mm -hmm. that gives you, uh, drives you to understand how you are going to enter into the house, to stay, and how you are going to exit, period. It's like a contract. It's just a contract agreement. It must be signed must be signed after you have confirmed this lease or this contract is, is good to me. Sign. If you sign something that you don't understand, that's your own problem. Now, as a tenant, what if your landlord hasn't provided you with that lease? You have because a right. there, there are many who mm. move into houses. Yes, yes. Uh, and the landlord will be like, mm -hmm. in Yuma, Itayanda. So they get into that house yeah. and they start paying rent. And that's how they start living. You know, circumstances has made uh, our people to, to land into very serious problems. Yeah. Sometimes maybe you have chased out, maybe issues here and there, maybe you have been given a transfer, maybe you are working in Nairobi, you are mm. going to Mombasa, then you want to settle. Because of that circumstance, it can force you to, to go without signing a lease. Then that, uh, the signing a lease comes after. It's not supposed to be the case. Mm. As a tenant, take time. Organize your schedules, plan perfectly. When you are looking for house, the time. That's why we are told when moving out or when you are getting into somebody's house, give a notice from where you, you are getting out, give a notice. So that that notice time, give you time to locate or get a, a, the best house you want, go through the lease, the environment and everything, then make a decision. Lakini mm -hmm. watu wetu mm hivo. -hmm. So we are addressing these issues. Uh, Mostly young people, they don't understand what is a lease, what is a stay, what is entry, what is exit. So we are trying to uh, bring this information to the young people of this country mm -hmm. before uh, making a decision to go to somebody's house. Please try to ask, inquire all the information concerning tenancy. Mm -hmm. There are laws, and these guys, they understand. And uh, from the other side of the landlord, yeah. let the landlord have all the requirements on his or her house. Number one, the government, there is a collaboration of the government in this housing sector. Mm -hmm. When you build a house, there are regulations. When you want to let the house or you want to rent the house to the tenants, mm -hmm. there are regulations. There is even certificates. There are certificates by from, law, by, by the, the law constitution. That now you are certified by your premise the premise is certified that it's, it's best for the occupation. Mm. But our people don't have those certificates. You had the case in uh, Rimuru, somewhere yeah. in Rimuru, collapsing mm. of the house. Yeah. Our engineers, quantity surveyors, we have failed as a country. So landlords must have must these certificates. Have those documents. When a tenant wants to enter into somebody's house, mm. are, you have right to ask documents, like certificate of occupancy should be provided in the lease. When you are given a list, there are some attachments of documents. But these guys, they don't provide so shortcuts in Kenya. You're, you're, ramb rambad. you're saying that a tenant should be given a certificate of occupancy? Must ask. A certificate? Uh, yes, of occupancy. Because that house that must be certified. Uh, that is okay for me to stay. What, are, what if it collapses? Is that a different document from the lease? Yes. It's a, div a very different. There's a tenancy appraisal form. 
there's, a, there's a, a lease agreement, a contract, the certificates that are supposed to be pro provided by the, the landlord, uh, electricity, the way it's done, security, water, all these documents are supposed to be given, then attached to the lease. Once you have all this one, you are certified that this house is good, I can stay. You are the point. And yeah, when you yeah. go into that, you know our tenants make mistakes. Sometimes pays rent, they don't even ask for receipts. When you want to move out, you claim that there is a deposit. Let mm. me put it clear. Yes. As a tenant, the collaboration between a landlord and a tenant, when, when you are in that contract, that means you stay in that house. But the moment you move out of that house, you go out, then now you start claiming your deposit refund. Once it you have left. It, once you have left, there's nothing like that. Sometimes landlord tells you just the leave. Contract, I will send it to you next week or It tomorrow. will never happen like that. The contract ceases immediately. You move out of that house. So you must put this clear. When you give a notice that next month I'm moving out, mm -hmm. I will paint the house as per the law, Cap 296, all 301. It, it states very clearly. Mm -hmm. A tenant moving out of that house has to leave that house the way he she it. or he got it. He found it. Meaning, whose job you is pay, it? Is the that tenant who is supposed to? I paint. want you to say that again. Yes. Whose job is it to paint the house? The law put it very clear. Cap two nine six of yeah. residential premises that we have in this country, and the Cap three o one of business premises of this country. Mm -hmm. A tenant immediately entering to that house, that house is painted, is yes. done properly. Then by the say, landlord? Yeah, by, you don't even ask that. You get the house which is of the standard that you want. Yes. Then when you leave that house, you want to exit. Mm. You leave that house the way you want it. That means it's the tenant's responsibility. To paint. To paint that. in collaboration with the landlord, caretaker, agent. So this tendency of, 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 of many Kenyans, yes, yes. where you want to leave a house, the landlord tells you that I will not give you back your deposit yes. because I will use that money to, to paint. do a paint job on the house. Is that... It's Legal. not right. That's wrong. Deposit, the money that we call a deposit, it's for security purposes. So we'll return it means, to my, uh. as a tenant, yes. you have rights, duties, responsibility to make sure that house is kept to standard. Exactly. Make sure all the fixing, the window panes, the locks, toilets and everything are done before you exit should be like that. Now, Go and purchase. Will, will the tenant yes. sit mm -hmm. and supervise workers who are painting the house? Yeah, because the tenant right. doesn't have that You time. have a right. Now, there is something we call inventory. This is the time caretaker or next of kin or landlord or agent is supposed to supervise your exit. You paint the house. That's the time when you enter to that house. I'm repeating this, mm. request for a checklist, document called a checklist. Mm. That gives the scenario of that house. Details of everything. Details that of is everything there. in the order it is. You must have it. And you sign yourself as a tenant, you sign as a landlord and the agent to sign that, yes, Mr. So-and-so has occupied this house. The house is in best standard. And we are in agreement with this checklist. Now, now um, when a tenant is moving into a house yes. and there are some things that are not in order, yes. let's say there's a problem with the sink, yes. there's a problem with the, the toilet, or yes, the bathroom, yes. or the shower, or the bedroom, uh, the, the cupboard, or the drawers, there's a problem with the walls or the sockets. Who, who, um, at what point are these things supposed to be repaired? Now... 
you have gone to the, somebody's house, you have checked and you have seen there are some concerns, but you need that house. Yes. What is it hard to tell the landlord to repair and do everything before you enter? No, 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 no. That is your own mistake. You don't enter into a house, a questionable house. Mm -hmm. Make sure, and if you enter with such scenarios, then you have to do an, another agreement. That I, I, I have to uh, invest in these repairs. What if on the day that you enter, mm -hmm. you had agreed on that you are going to enter on Tuesday yes. and the repairs are supposed to be done on Monday. When you come to enter on Tuesday, you find that Nothing the repairs has been are done. halfway done yes. or none has been done. What do you do? Go now down, we think I'm busy go. come with your document, write an agreement, indicate the scenarios of the house, make sure the landlord agent signs that. Don't just go inside and just assume things. We are, we, we, let us work within the laws. Everything is based on agreements. Mm. And calculate how much not done, how much needed to be done. Put that agreement, share to the landlord, agent, and whatever. Thereafter, you claim that. You get, and mm -hmm. that should be in the checklist. The status, of, the status of the house. The checklist is the very best document, even now. Whenever you are somewhere in the house, maybe even right now, you can do a notice for the request of that. So that at least you understand. When you are exiting, you do what is supposed to be indicated in that checklist. Mm. So those are the issues that are, uh, our, our, our people don't understand. Now, Ajokim, yes. when a landlord has fixed everything in the house, yes. all is well, peachy, mm -hmm. fine and dandy. Yes. One month down the line, or just some time after the tenant moves in, something is destroyed or vandalized in the house. Whose role is it to repair those things? Because the tenant will call the landlord and say, there's a problem here, this is broken. And the, some tenants will say, I found it like that. And the landlord will say, no, it was okay when you moved in. Ni wewe doliaribu, ni wewe ndotengeneze. We have a solution here. Yeah, when you are in that house, mm -hmm. you bear hundred percent responsibility. So before you enter into that house, make sure everything is in order. Yes. Check everything mm -hmm. and raise questions at that time. Yes. Failure to that, you bear the whole responsibility. You have to repair. You have to do everything. But now, in, in this case, something has been vandalized or broken or yeah. needs repair. When you are in. Uh, when you are in. Yeah, you have to take care now, of that. I'm talking about now the landlord. On the, land the landlord is, bears no responsibility on that. As a landlord, a tenant should, should a tenant call you that something is broken? It never happens like that. This mm -hmm. is the, what we call inventory. Yes. You have come, you have checked the house, every corner of the house, all fixing, everything is okay. Then tomorrow, or two, three days, you call the landlord that something is not in, in order. It, it never adds up. You bear the, the moment you sign that agreement that the house is good, period. If, so, if and, and what if you destroy something? What if... What as a if, tenant? Yes, as you a repair, tenant. You some, repair. A tenant has an obligation to do everything to make sure you reflect Cap 296. You, 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 you make sure you maintain the house. Mm -hmm. When you want to leave that house, you leave it the way you want it. So maintain, repair everything to the end. You, do you look for the repairman yes, that yes. the landlord requests or, 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 or wants, or you, do you look for your own? You have to do uh, a notice that, mm -hmm. is, that is very important, that the house has a problem in maybe toilet or maybe in, in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Notify the landlord. Yeah. Once you notify the landlord, the landlord agrees that you have proceed on to do and make sure you do fixing of the best quality as you want them. Mm -hmm. Then from there you proceed. Mm -hmm. There is inventory, supervision of somebody, maybe a caretaker, agent, or, some, or even a landlord will come and check. If, if, if it's uh, maybe toilets and whatever, the same, same fixing, the same, same quality, everything has to be maintained. Now, there's some landlords that struggle when it comes to rent. Mm -hmm. A tenant has not paid rent and is still staying in that house. Should this landlord kick the tenant out? How should the landlord handle this tenant? There is a procedure. Uh -huh. Tenancy appraisal exercise. A landlord has a right to appraise or scrutinize the tenant before entry. Mm. 
in terms of strengths, economic strengths, the profile of a tenant should be known by the landlord. There must be a document that shows I'm Joaquim Mumbui, mm -hmm. I'm a consultant, I work, I'm a business person, I do ABCD. You so should. You have to give that profile to the landlord. By, in, in writing? In writing. Once you give that, the appraisals, it sets the standards to know this tenant is going to pay, is going to have issues every month, mm -hmm. or there will be delays. I expect such. So as a landlord, as you, a should, landlord. you should ask the questions, these questions yes. to the tenant. Where yes. do you work? Who do you work yes. for? How much do you earn? No. There's that level you can see this person is able, can even if his business can be able to pay, even if there's a delay, hmm. we will be going nicely in that process. So you are, there's that tenancy appraisal. It's, 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 in, it's, it's rightful to the hmm. landlord to know who is uh, tenant A, tenant B. Not mama flani, baba flani. Hmm. You have to know by the names, mm -hmm. the profile, and you keep in the, uh, the file. And the, the private information that, that is the landlord that, should keep. Uh, exactly. And confidential. That is it. Then from there, you can analyze and see how this person is going to pay. And number two, a landlord has to do frequent conversation with the, the, the tenants. Hmm. At least maybe there is a delay. Kindly pay your rent. It's overdue. Your rent is overdue or maybe whatever, that kind of conversation, you can test that the tenant is a serious tenant, is a, a tenant with some issues. Now, how do I un handle? From there, you can have a solution. What about in cases where the landlord doesn't deal directly with the tenant? The same, the same applies. You asked about uh, maybe if uh, a landlord, a tenant has failed to pay, what are the rights of a landlord? Yes. Maybe to make a solution in terms of how to make sure the, the tenant pays or mm. is moved out or something happens. Mm. It, there is a procedure. Once the tenant fails to pay, you give a notice that you have failed to pay one month, maybe, or maybe a week, you have entered into another new month. You have to give a notice that when are you going to pay rent? What has happened? Then there is a reply from the tenant that I will commit myself within one month. Then, if the tenant fails, you give a notice of vacation, or you just come to us, our office, or we take your concerns to the court for the levy distress. The it, it can go to court? Yes, we usually go to court always. Mm. Tenants come to our offices. Uh, landlords, uh, they have not recovered their money, maybe five months, six months, one year. Is there a limit uh, to, uh, as, as to which the landlord should say that at this, after, after this duration, it's I a, will not take days. more excuses? It's one month. Everything is just one month. Before, be, because if you go to the second month, it's going to be a burden to a tenant, mm. and that's a conflict. Mm. There are those guys who pay a, a lot of money, a million, five hundred thousand, yeah, twenty thousand, thirty thousand, you know, mm -hmm. uh, according to their income. Yes. So it becomes a challenge. If you pay fifty thousand Kenya shillings rent and you fail this month, and the other month is coming, my friend, hundred thousand is not easy. But sometimes there needs to be this human understanding mm -hmm. where, um, let's say, some this tenant has paid three months rent in advance. Exactly. Uh, and, and, and after, after five months, maybe, the tenant hasn't managed to pay uh, the rent for the next month and uh, a second month and the third month, the tenant then says to the landlord, you know what, there are times that I've paid rent for five months. For months. Just give me time. Give it's me never, time. It never works. Huh. Maximum leave you pay quarterly, you are given three months. There is a deposit of three months, which is a security. Then the landlord, if senses uh, some delays and some conflicts, mm. has to give a notice. Yeah. And it's good for the tenants to give notice that now I'm not, I will never be able to pay rent continuously, so kindly let me move out. Once you give that notice, that's all. But if there are areas, the landlord has a right to levy distress through the court mm. or through us. We can process that 
we go to court, get court orders for levy distress. Now, Joachim, le le let me move quickly. <laughs> There's so many things that we, we need to talk on. What about in cases where we have tenant tenant problems? Yes, yes. That has been brought to the uh, 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 desk of the landlord. Uh, one tenant is complaining about a fellow tenant mm -hmm. to the landlord. These things are there. Nuisance in the in the amenities and mm. also one-to-one -one issues here and there, they are there. Uh, there is a contract that is to place your line, your limits, mm. who is your neighbor and how to handle. Yeah. There is that frequent of, of, of a landlord or a caretaker to go and listen to these tenants, all of them, collect information. Sometimes you can have quarterly meetings with all tenants, try to understand the neighborhood how people relate each other. Uh -huh. Then so from there it, you can sort that, of, that you should even meet them. Yes, frequently. there is that. Yeah, frequent. You can do it uh -huh. monthly. You can do it quarterly. You can do it yearly. As a landlord. And even a landlord, you can do a party for your tenants, so that you can, uh, you know, this is your client. Yeah. Now end year, you can see with your tenants. There are people who have tenants, thousands of tenants. Mm -hmm. You can plan on that because this is your business. How you are you gonna appreciate? You have given me your house. I mm. stay in your house. Mm. I do my business from your house. I've excelled in my life living in your house. So sometimes you just sit down, talk. Build that bond. Build that bond. But, but now what if a tenant complains about an issue to, that, the, to the caretaker yeah. and you feel like the caretaker is not doing anything? You know, uh, there are many avenues to solve conflicts. You can go to the, you can do a letter. That's a notice to the, care, the caretaker agent or the landlord, you're raising the issue that this tenant who is my neighbor uh, opens the music too much. Or some maybe, are, you know, partying all this partying, or whatever. Partying, drinking, this smoking. And yes. Yeah. <coughs> and these things, from the word go, there is a document. There are this doc there are this, the, the document sometimes stipulates in terms of pets. Mm. You are not supposed to have pets like cats and dogs in a certain environment. And it should be in that list. You understand? Mm. So they are in already if somebody messes around with the environment, yeah. that means it's gone against what? Lease agreement. Mm -hmm. And that must be done. Everything, whether it's a neighbor to neighbor, tenant to tenants, landlord tenant, agents, all this relationship is stipulated in the lease agreement. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to talk about, uh, mm, before I forget, deposits. Mm. Because you talked about somebody has renovated a house, a wall, all this has happened, and when, when, when he wants to claim the deposit, it becomes an issue. Yeah. The deposit is the money that is kept by the landlord in quote-unquote security. Security means what? Mm. When you move out of that house, mm. do renovations at a, as a tenant, let the inventory done by the landlord, agent, or caretaker, and you are given a notice to move out, clean bill of health. <coughs> that now, mm. I'm okay, give me the deposit. In that, that, that deposit is supposed to be processed within three days you are given your deposit. Mm. Issues that we usually handle here in court, landlords have failed to give back the deposits. Somebody has stayed more than 10 years, five years, two years, one month, giving out that deposit, and now we come and yake. Now we have come up with a very good program as the Landlords and Tenants Association of Kenya. We are requesting the young people, or maybe senior guys around, we are coming up with a trust fund. Deposit trust fund. You just walk to the bank, deposit your deposit mm -hmm. in that fund, in the trust fund. Then, <coughs> when you are moving out of that house, mm. make sure the house is good. Everything has been done perfectly. You move from that with a letter that says, yes, I've done renovation, has moved out without any conflict. Then you go to the bank, you receive your deposit. So we are appealing to the young people 
of this country. Whenever maybe you have a, you are renting a house somewhere, all these issues, and we are we will uh, launch the deposit trust fund very soon. Mm. We are negotiating with the landlords, the insurance, and some banks, so that the caretaker of your deposit is going to be safe. And also, when you move out of a certain premise, you will reclaim that deposit to the bank. You walk and get the deposit. So it's one way we are going to reduce conflicts. Um, Joachim, let's, let, let's look at uh, some of the policies that are there, because I'm aware that uh, you, you have mentioned that uh, you, had, you, you have a few issues concerning the policies yes, that, yes. Are, that, that are there. Yes. What issues do you, are, are you having with these policies okay. in the country? Landlords and Tenants Act 2021. Mm. The document's good. We did the petition and we sent to Honorable Sakaja, who is now the governor. Uh, we sent it and our, our concerns were raised uh, by Honorable Kimunya in parliament. So Landlords and Tenants Act came out perfectly, so they were debating. There is this issue of goodwill. That's brought so many problems. Yes. In all businesses or mm. working places, wherever it is in Kenya, people who are now landlords or maybe head tenants in different premises have taken advantage from people who are willing to do business in terms of goodwill. And that in some places they're even saying that no goodwill is, is required here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, the issue of goodwill is not supposed to be articulated or mentioned anywhere. That is the willing of the head tenant, tenant or the landlord. Mm. That now, because this is my premise, some, like now mostly hotels. Mm. Uh, you find the image of the hotel, the marketing, all the furnitures and everything in the, that hotel. Uh -huh. uh, somebody moving out, a new person is coming in. So give me the goodwill. I leave you all this in terms of millions. Mm -hmm. We have seen that thing affecting our people and especially SMEs, like now you see stalls in Nairobi. Especially they are, in town. Yeah, yeah, they are asked goodwill. Yeah. That is illegal. We are appealing to those people responsible leasing out those houses, not to ask goodwill. You can imagine goodwill are, are just requested and paid and mm. they are renewable. Mm. In every year, if you pay one million, you are requested after three years, you have to pay another one million goodwill. That's why you see young people, they cannot progress in business. Because of goodwill. Yeah. You have your 500,000, 1 million. Mm. Then when you want to put a small business, it requires a, a goodwill of 500,000. Then you are less. So you cannot move. And we are talking to the new government under His Excellency uh, William Ruto to go with speed, Minister of Housing. Mm. Let us collaborate, Landlords and Tenants Association of Kenya and many organizations, All so right. that we can bring this thing out in terms of crafting and trying to bring good policies in housing. Like now, housing in Kenya, there's an issue. The government failed, that's obvious, to provide houses. Like right, right now, we are supposed to, pro, to construct 500,000 houses in every year to answer the question of the population that we have, mm. which is not easy. So His Excellency, Doctor, William Ruto, has to come and uh, collaborate with us. The people from different industries, like now the border border, they want to own homes. There must be a strategy on that. But, but, but now that we have, you, you said you started engaging yes, yes. Uh, uh, Honorable Sakaja. Yes, yes. Now that he is the governor, yes, yes. Um, do you see these things being solved? It will be solved because we have to push. The, the, bill, is, the, act is in, the bill is in parliament. Mm -hmm. And we have to make frequent meetings with uh, Honorable Sakaja so that we, himself and the entire government of the county to understand issues on housing. And let me speak on uh, uh, even business now, like now the revenues, taxes on housing. KRA, you know, it's not easy. We are told that as a citizen, you have to pay taxes mm -hmm. so that you can build. And we are happy our population is growing. But now the mechanisms of collect, tax collection is not, is not done the, the way it's supposed to be done. Because of the rent, in, rent income tax? Yeah, the rates, all these things. Mm. They don't know how. Because if you go around Nairobi town, rates, building all these landlords, mm. tenants, mm. 
We don't collect the best because we need to have money so that once we have enough resources in the county, we can be able to plan. Like now, when we talk about housing, like now, young people, when you are in a university, you are in college, you need to own a home. Mm. And that's why we have said, if the government will come up with a very nice, robust program in terms of how tenants can be transformed from to tenants landlords. to landlords, mm. and that program we have, how are we going to do it? We have to identify how many people we are in the county, how, how much we need. Do we have spaces, like now Honorable Sakaja eh, has to talk to us. Then we say we have of takers, like now students, the police, the teachers, mm. the mamboga, mm. the drivers, they are ready to pay, but they don't have houses. If we can have that program perfected, Every day you can contribute 100 shillings to that kit. That 100 shillings, we have built good houses. You are in the house. And then you start now servicing slowly, slowly for five years. Now, um, Joachim, um, I, I'd like to move on. When we, we look at the landlords, yes, yes. <coughs> some or most of our landlords are really suffering here. Yes, yes. Because now they, they, they have to pay or service some loans. Wanaumia sana. Yes. Um, do we have any protection to our landlords? Yes. Are they protected? They are protected by the law. They are protected by the law. But, but example, they, are, they, they are hurting. They can't even pay service their loans here. They are, it, it's taking so many so, years. Yeah, sometimes when, we, when COVID hit in this country, we even spoke to the banks, in institu financial institutions, mm -hmm. to put a standstill on the interest rates to landlords for some time or reduce. That's mm. one way of protection. Then we did that one. There are some banks that called these landlords and they negotiated. Yes, we will not charge you this time. Let us wait. Or we have waived for you for this period of time so that you can catch up. If things will go well, that's OK. Mm. So they are protected. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. uh, now, uh, what, what are some of the tips that you can give our landlords yes. who are watching? Because there is a landlord that is watching you today and is wondering what are just some of those, for lack of a better term, life hacks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, talk to, to that landlord watching you today. Landlords in the country, yes. they are about, uh, there. Yeah. Yeah, they are about five million. You have five million. We have five million landlords in the country. Mm. Mm. Uh, first, I have to congratulate landlords because they are the best entrepreneurs. Yeah. Uh, building houses is not easy. It's hard work. It's hard work, you know, to make sure. And uh, you are experienced because I know you experience a lot of problems in terms of uh, tenancy management and also rent collection. Uh, as a, a landlord, you are the super entrepreneur. So if you are a super entrepreneur, it means when you are giving occupation to your tenant. Make sure, do consultation, analyze properly who is that tenant to come to your house. Because that is economical aspect, you must have a tenant who will pay rent. Then that rent, you use it for your own means, or you service the loan, or you develop yourself. So do what we call tenancy appraisal exercise to all tenants that you have. Get in a consultation with the Landlords and Tenants Association of Kenya for more information. And also, for us to come in and help you, because we have, uh, we have collaborated with the financial institutions from outside the country. If you want to construct or you want to excel in housing, you come to our offices, then we'll connect you with some financial institutions. That's, that's a benefit. Number three, Please, as a landlord in this country, know there is your organization called Landlords and Tenants Association of Kenya. Be a member so that you can have those privileges on housing, how to manage your houses, how to collect rent, and how you can reduce conflict in terms of rent delays. We have a solution. Wow. So, by the way, let me, let me get it from you. 
um, is it okay for a landlord to say that in my house I only want people who are married? Wrong. If, if, if Every person that. has uh, his, uh, his or her right to, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a target group, uh, but it's ne it never applies. It never applies. It never applies. It's, it's not in law. <laughs> it's not in law. It's not in law. <laughs> yeah, it's not in law. And now, Joachim, I, I, I want you to talk to tenants now. We've talked to the landlords. Yes, yes. We, 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 we're done with them. Let's talk to the tenants. Some of the tips that you can give our tenants. Tenants of this country, there are many. Mm. We are 18 million tenants in the country. And, 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 and I know here we have so many tips that you can give them, but just yeah, narrow them down. Very yeah. narrow. I yeah. can narrow them. Mm. Tenants of this country, yeah. I know you are suffering a lot because the government has not created enabled environment for you to do business so that you can manage to pay rent. But rent is a priority. Make sure you save slowly, slowly. It comes to the the 30th day of every month, at least you have something. And if you have an issue, please communicate to us. Give a notice to your landlord. A landlord can understand. Then do timelines how you are going to pay rent in case your rent is overdue. Number two, be a member to Landlords and Tenants Association of Kenya. We are coming up with a, a solution in terms of insurance. It's underway. Once you have a problem and you are our member and you are servicing your premium in the insurance, we will be giving out three months, three months rent relief. So that three months rent relief is going to help you to catch up the next subsequent months. So please, tenants, make calls. Come to our office, Few Park Towers, 19th floor. Bob Man House, first floor. Mm. Call. Our numbers are online. Reach us. We will help you. And once you are a member, there is this program called Transforming Tenants to Landlord. The Mamamboga, the Boda Boda, Mother Drivers and Conductors, Teachers, the Police, Students in our universities, in any cadre. You need to come to us so that at least we can give you tips. All right. How you can transform yourself from tenant to a landlord. To a landlord. Um, uh, there's a question from uh, David, and I said, I have a problem. Ever since COVID struck, my landlord has been increasing rent, and now I feel like moving out and I'm tired. What do I do? Please advise. Yeah, David, uh, COVID, yeah, we know COVID has disturbed everybody. Mm. Nobody has stabilized at this t moment. What you do if we want to move out and uh, you are not in that good terms with your landlord, we have two options. Option number one, you do a notice or you just visit our office. We do you a demand notice from our office through the court, through the, your jurisdiction, the police, where you stay. The OCS of that area has to be notified. Then when you move out, you notify the landlord. So, and so, so now, now it, it, you know, some tenants will not want it to blow up in their, in, yes, yes. In, in their face. They won't want a police case. No, it's not a police case. Yeah. You know, in every, let, we must work with the administration. Yeah. These are the people we work with all over Kenya. Mm -hmm. When I do a demand notice from my office, it must be received in the court. That is tribunal court, res uh, uh, residential premise, or business premise. So for David's case, David's the, case to do a notice. Uh -huh. If we can reach us, we can do a notice or we do ADR. ADR means alternative dispute resolution. We mm. talk to the landlord and the, the landlord can listen to us for David to move out. From there, maybe if there's a res, we mm. can agree how he's going to do it. The only solution is for him to move out. To move out. And the, la the, 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 the rent increment can't be halted. No, no, no. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. All right. There is a question here. This is from Lucy. I've uh, lost it. Uh, yeah, this is Lucy. I have a friend who that landlord is threatening to evict her from the house. She is a single mother struggling to make payment and life has not been easy for her. Is there a solution that she can find? Yeah, there's a solution. Yeah. We do, we'll represent the case to court to, to have a stay order mm. from our court so that the mama can continue staying, single mother, yeah, single can mother. continue staying, and mm. we find a solution. She has to tell us the solution in terms of how she's going to 
service the rent areas in future. So we can give a, a, a way forward in terms of going to court, get stay order, she stays there. Mm. Or if she feels she's going to move out to a very manageable house, it's also granted. We can mm. do that mm. one. Mm. We can do a DR. We talk to the landlord to give her a permission to move out or time mm. to service the rent areas. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, I love this. Um, so many questions are trickling in, but I believe that we, we have managed to answer most most of them. You know, if you have any problem with the repairs, go to your landlord. Yes, yes. You know, uh, uh, tell your landlord you have a uh, there's a problem. Yeah. Tengeneza. Tengeneza. Who you need tenant at Tengeneza? Tenant at Tengeneza. Lazima notify a landlord. Mm. Some tenants vandalize things and they they want the landlord to 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 repair. That is wrong. <laughs> That's very wrong. Very wrong. That is your house. <laughs> Temporarily. You know, a tenant, mm. if you have occupied a, a space or a, a house, that is your permanent residence. Yeah. That is your house. Mm. Temporarily. Joachim, I want us to bring this discussion to a close. Yes, yes. And uh, I, know, I, I know one day we should, we should have a discussion of between buying a house, and building a house, and renting a house, which is the best. We yes. have that discussion. We, we will have an, an, no an, an, another day. Yeah. I want to give you time to have a final word and, uh, and, and give us your parting shot. Talk to Kenyans today. Yeah. Uh, Landlords and Tenants Association of Kenya is there to protect tenants and landlords. We provide a, plat a platform for both to make sure we understand tenancy laws and how they are, they are, they are applicable in our life. Uh, we, are, we are appealing to all Kenyans. We are coming up with a very good program that is a, a Landlords and Tenants Trust, Deposit Trust Fund. Uh, we are initiating some uh, insurances, our banks, and even the government to be the caretaker. So kindly to reduce these conflicts that we are having because Deposit Fund is becoming a rampart in this country. So uh, support us and all tenants, because we are many, kindly make a step of becoming a member into our organization so that it can enable us to know the data, know your concerns, and how to handle. Mm -hmm. I'm appealing to uh, the government which is in place under His Excellency the President, Dr. William Ruto. Mm -hmm. We need a collaboration that's under Ministry of Housing so that we can give some tips what's needed to be done in this country. We need people to own homes. We need people to be self-reliant in terms of houses. What makes this poverty to bring people down is because of shelter. If you have shelter and you are doing business, it means you will save and you will move forward. You will educate your children. You will eat well. There will be no problems that family. So we are anticipating very hard Ministry of Housing in collaboration with Landlords and Tenants Association of Kenya uh, our, 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 our courts, at least to come out clearly and make these tenancy issues to be understood to All the right. public. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Joachim. Uh, and, and of course, that is uh, Joachim Oboi from the Landlords and Tenants Associations of Kenya. You are saying people should join. How can someone become a member? Yeah. We, we just make a call. Uh -huh. uh, we need uh, tenants can register. Yeah. That I will not share maybe how much. You will be taken through and it's renewable every year. Mm -hmm. Landlord can register when you contact our offices. All right. That's uh, annual, annual renewable. Then there are benefits. We represent you in court. We represent you in arbitration. We represent you in ADR. And sometimes we protect you. So if someone wants to get a hold of you, how can they do so? Yeah. Uh, you can call 0723-983-352. You can call uh, 0733-984-309. Say that again. You can call 0723-983-352. Or you can call 0733-984-309. You can call again uh, 0721. Mm. 0721 You can come to our offices, that is Few Park Towers, 19th floor, 
or you can come to our another office which is uh, at Popman, Popman House along Moy Avenue, first floor. Ask oh, wow. Landlords and Tenants Association of Kenya, we will be helped. The social media is there, the Facebook is there, mm. you will just get us. All right. Mm. Asana, asana, Mr. Thank, Thank you so you. much for, 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 for popping in today. Yes, yes. It was a very enlightening discussion. Thank you. Uh, I, feel, I feel like many youths are now at a better position, you know, to make decisions that, uh, you know, moving forward yeah, are best so. for them. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you so much. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, God bless you, my brother. Thank you. All right. And of course, that brings us to the end of this discussion uh, that we've been having today right here on Wine in the Morning, but keep engaging with us. We value your feedback. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ram Maguko. Stick around for more right here on Wine in the Morning.